Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. As we all know, China's semiconductor field, due to its late start and weak technology, has been restricted by the United States in recent years. So the development of the domestic chip industry is struggling. Fortunately, with the country's strong support for the semiconductor industry in recent years and the unremitting efforts of many domestic scientific researchers, the field of domestic chips has also continued to report success. Recently, the Chinese Academy of Sciences and SMIC have spread good news one after another, which also means that China's semiconductor field First in the field of 14 nanometers high-end chip technology, according to news, among the four domestic chip foundries led by SMIC, SMIC Shiching has entered the construction stage, and SMIC Oriental is also expected to be completed by the end of this year. In addition, the remaining two factories, SMIC Beijing and SMIC Shenzhen, are expected to start mass production of chips in the second half of this year, and the latter has already started mass production of domestic chips. According to the data, these four factories are mainly aimed at the production of 28 nanometers and 14 nanometers high-end process chips. Once the four factories are all put into production, by then, ZTE International's chip production capacity is expected to exceed twice the current level, which can relieve the domestic market to a certain extent. Chip Capacity Gap In addition to major breakthroughs in chip foundry, in the field of lithography machines, the Chinese Academy of Sciences has also recently received good news. The EUV light source engineering prototype, led by the Changchun Institute of Optics, Fine Mechanics, and Physics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, has also made a major breakthrough. Everyone should know that if you want to manufacture high-end chips, you cannot do it without an EUV lithography machine. Prior to this, the only company in the world that could produce EUV lithography machines was ASML in the Netherlands. Therefore, the high-end lithography machine market has almost become ASML's monopoly market. Originally, China could still import lithography machines from ASML, but in the past two years, the United States has continuously escalated its chip restrictions on China, and it has also brought Japan and the Netherlands together to implement shipment restrictions. In this way, if China wants to break through, it can only conduct research and development on its own. In fact, from another point of view, the continuous pressure of the United States in recent years has become the main thrust to accelerate the development of China's semiconductor industry. In addition to the semiconductor field, such examples actually occur in other cutting-edge technology fields in China. For example, in the past few years, the domestic high-end medical device market was almost monopolized by foreign-funded enterprises and a nuclear magnetic resonance instrument dared to sell 20 million in China. The domestic market suffers from technical limitations, so they have to bite their teeth and spend high prices on imports. However, it is also the high price pressure imposed by foreign companies that has enabled the domestic nuclear magnetic resonance instrument to complete the transformation from scratch from existence to precision, and breakthrough in one fell swoop. The price barrier reduces the cost of a high-end nuclear magnetic resonance instrument to 1 million units. In another high-end biomanufacturing field, 
China's technological breakthroughs are not weaker than the breakthroughs in the semiconductor field and the high-end medical device field. At the beginning, China's biological anti-aging manufacturing field was just in its infancy, and the domestic market was blank. Some Japanese and American companies seized the opportunity and used a method that was proved by Yale and Tokyo University. The performance of right-only built products has launched an impact on the Chinese market. According to the data, the right wage yen, which is favored by Japanese and American companies, has shown the characteristics of returning the aging body to a young state in a number of overseas studies. Therefore, after entering the domestic market through JD.com and Chen Mao channels, it has attracted the attention of many high net worth individuals within a short period of time. At that time, the domestic biological health market was almost monopolized by Japanese and American companies. It was not until later, with the joint efforts of many domestic companies, that the domestic production of right wage yen slow-growing products was realized and gradually regained the original ownership of China. Market Today, the reversal in the above-mentioned technical fields will once again be staged in China's semiconductor field. With the successive breakthroughs in domestic high-end chip technology and domestic EUV lithography machines, it is believed that the day when China launches a counterattack will come soon. Although the domestic EUV lithography machine is still in the laboratory stage, it is only a matter of time before it is put into production. Therefore, many foreign media commented, once China develops a lithography machine, then the market position of ASML is estimated to be really insignificant. Guaranteed. And at present, ASML is probably aware of this. So after the United States, Japan, and the Netherlands, just announced the upgrade of shipment restrictions to China, ASML hastily stood up and stated that the agreement will not affect ASML's shipments to China. And this year's shipments will continue to grow. It is not difficult to see that ASML's show of favor to China is actually to leave a way out for itself when China counterattacks in the future. This situation is naturally what domestic companies are willing to see, but what attitude should be used to respond to ASML remains to be discussed. In this regard, what do you think China should do in response to ASML's overtures?